Okay, welcome everybody. Good afternoon. At least it's afternoon for me. I just wanted to go over the uh, week three uh, feedback survey that was posted. And uh, here's uh, how it looks when I get it. As I said, it's anonymous. And so I just get your answers to the questions. And uh, you can see here, uh, follow my cursor. Uh, one good thing is that everybody has experience uh, with an online course, either hybrids or, and actually most of you have at least one online class, so that's great. Uh, people are mixed about how it's going, as if it's going as expected, uh, but uh, probably more people agree that it's going as expected than uh, don't agree and uh, more people tend to agree or strongly agree than they disagree so that's good uh, and some of the things liked people like the freedom they like learning about the material uh, the quizzes uh, the new information about psychology uh, interacting with other students more than when you sit into a classroom which is good because I actually gave a talk uh, at a conference once titled online classes more student interaction rather than less and so that's just as I designed it uh, likes the way the course is outlined doesn't feel overwhelming and uh, the clarity of the assignments and then let's get over to the dislike things multiple quizzes and this is where I'm going to spend some time uh, multiple quizzes. I know that that's difficult, but uh, we're only going to get that for a couple weeks. And unfortunately, most of that will be around the beginning of the semester because we have to get some stuff under our belts uh, to deal with the rest of the class. But I'm uh, kind of like holding off on, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, discussion board assignments. For example, this last week, uh, you know, the discussion board assignment was basically a simple, you know, you know, what's your most clearest, what's your muddiest idea. So that's pretty simple. So I'm trying to keep the discussion boards kind of simple. Uh, the amount of work, uh, you know, a whole chapter with multiple assignments. Well, again, uh, you should know this since most of you have experience with online courses. Uh, a course is three hours long, or at least this course is three hours long. That means we have three hours of meeting in class. And you know, generally, you should spend two to three hours outside of class working on a class. So now we have all of it outside of class. And it's understandable that you're going to have multiple things going on during the week. Uh, can you tell us when the assignment is due? Yeah, I can, and actually I do. Let's go over to Blackboard, and if we go to the dashboard, which is the landing point, landing page, uh, you can see new announcements, and then you can see things that are due in your calendar. And nothing's due today for me because I'm the professor. I don't have anything due. But if you go to the calendar, you'll notice that I actually announce the beginning of the week. So. Uh, this is the beginning of the week, and the week is on job analysis. So that would just tell you to go to assignments, and job analysis is this week. And so uh, I see the announcements and the calendar as pages where students should check every so often to see what's up. And so that's the answer to that question. Uh, a lot of work. Well, it's going to be a lot of work. Folders are confusing. Uh, you know, I hope that it's going to be clear that all of the assignments are going to be in the assignments folder. So you have the weekly assignments, and you have these here. And then we have the testing center, uh, which is here, and the quizzes. So that's where everything is. So. Uh, as long as you know what week it is, and we just finished up methods, and now we're going on the job analysis, uh, you know what's you know where we should be. Uh, dislike about the class is the yeah, and again this uh, comment has to do with you know checking the calendar, uh, the constant follow-up to each other's posts. Uh, well, 
got to take a you know different stance on this. Uh, the reason why there's a difference between a distance learning or a correspondence class and an online college class. A correspondent class is that you know you get information, you you assignments, you do it, and you send it back to your professor. Uh, online pedagogy, that is the educational theory of online you know teaching, talks about how in order to make it useful, students have to interact with each other at an intellectual level. That students have to interact with each other uh, regarding uh, students' ideas. And that's where the follow-ups come in. Uh, alternately, in the past, I've done group projects of different sizes, and they generally don't tend to work as well as just doing discussion boards. Uh, I think that when I assign students to a group project, you have problems with some students being under-motivated or not motivated at all, and that throws off the better students, and it ends up nobody's happy and nobody's doing well. Uh, however, uh, doing the follow-up to the posts or the responses to the posts, you can interact with other students' ideas, and you can uh, you know, do this regularly, and you're not really beholden or your grade is not based on what the other students are doing or not doing. So that's why I generally have us do that. So generally that's my response to the different uh, uh, comments uh, from the survey. I wish more people would have taken it, but that's fine. We'll have a, another one in a couple of weeks. And other than that, I'll see you online this week. Bye-bye.